Welcome to Happy Hour with Whiskey and the World. Hi, welcome to Happy Hour. I'm Joe and this is Kat and we're the hosts of the podcast Whiskey and the World. And today we have the pleasure of bringing you one of my top five favorite whiskeys, Nika Cafe Grain Whiskey. It comes in at 45% alcohol by volume or 90 proof if you're feeling fancy. It also runs about $57 a bottle, give or take, depending on your local liquor store. Now, I think that this whiskey also has one of the cooler stories in terms of whiskey. Why don't you tell us about it? Well, it's our first Japanese whiskey, so we're going to be talking about Mashitake Takasuru. I hope I said that right. And <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm going to work on my Japanese. Um, but it's a beautiful story. So he comes from a family who used to make sake. And then as a boy, he took a trip to Scotland, got really excited by what he saw there in Scotland and figured out that he needed to bring it back to Japan. And it's kind of cool, actually. He also met his wife on this trip. So they all come back to Japan. And then he started to sort of develop and work with uh, a coffee still, which is what makes this unique. Now, a coffee still is a two-column still, and it allows for continuous distillation, so you don't have to distill in batches. You get nonstop whiskey. So what that does is it kind of continually reheats it um, to give a really nice smoothness to it and a nice complexity, but it also allows you to distill a higher alcohol content. Um, so that's why this is 45 as opposed to the typical 40 that you'll find for a whiskey. Yeah, this is not a very alcohol forward flavor. You get everything you want out of whiskey, in my opinion. You get sweetness, you get earthiness, you get a coffee flavor, yeah. you get a caramel and a vanilla and you get a little bit of spice. It literally brings everything to the table you want out of a whiskey. It's very mellow. It's almost kind of like like a toffee, popcorn, campfire-y kind of flavor without it being... Um, too kind of sticky. Oh, if absolutely. That makes sense. No, yeah, yeah, it's like, not cloyingly sweet. Yeah, yeah. So I, I really like this. I mean, and again, for this is kind of our first Japanese whiskey that we've done on the show. So they Pretty solid hit start. it out of the park. Yeah. So for anyway, a score, what are you going to give it? Well, as you folks know. That's right. <laughs> we should tell you how we score things. As you folks may or may not know, we do our score out of 10 points. We do five points for the taste and the smell, which is your drinking experience. And then we do five points for the packaging, the story, and the overall branding of the product. For me... This is one of the best tasting whiskeys out there, especially for the price. It's delicious, brings everything I want out of a whiskey. In my opinion, a good whiskey should have a ride. It should take you somewhere, a beginning, a middle, an end, and that end has to be satisfying. This does all of that. So for me, it's a 4.7. That's high. That's a good one. I'm, I'm going to go with a four. I really enjoy it. Uh, you know, I'm not typically a Japanese whiskey fan, but had you not told me that it was, I feel like I may not have been able to pick that out. You know, so it's just for me, without kind of judging anything else about it, just the taste. 4.0, very solid whiskey in my opinion. Now in terms of the packaging and the story and the branding, I think this one scores high marks as well. It's a very classy bottle. It's simple, but it knows what it is. And it gives us something a little bit different with the glass. You may notice that the color of the glass is not clear. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows what whiskey looks like. They wanted to give us something that matched well with their label. And I think they kind of knocked that out of the park. Also, the story is beautiful. Man goes on an adventure. Man finds love in both whiskey <laughs> and a partner and brings them back home to make something we can all enjoy. I'm gonna give this one a 4.7. It's a 4.5 for me, I love it. I don't think it's necessarily missing anything, but the only thing that would sort of keep it from being perfect is that I hope somebody notices this in a bar and, and would like to try it. But with that being said, it's so classy, it's beautiful. This would be a lovely gift to give or receive. And a killer addition to your home bar. Now with Kat's score of an 8.5 and my score of a 9.4, that gives the show score an 8.95. With that being said, let's, let's have, have a drink. drink. Oh, you're excited about this one. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. <laughs> so today I'm gonna teach you something called a twice up, which is basically equal parts whiskey and water. We're gonna be using the Nika Cafe grain whiskey, and I have some bottled water here. So this is really simple, guys. You just take two ounces of the Nika Cafe or your favorite whiskey, and pour that into one glass. And then using a separate jigger, we're gonna take two ounces of our water and pour it into a second glass. Now you could use carbonated water for this, I've seen it done that way, but I recommend still, just my personal preference. All right, so that's pretty much it guys. It is equal parts whiskey and water. So if you try to order this at a bar, someone might look at you funny. So I recommend ordering whiskey, neat, and a water back. 
That way, you can add as much or as little as you want. So, here's the thing, guys. If you want to add water to your whiskey, go for it. But I recommend maybe adding a little bit at a time. But don't add ice. You're gonna wanna use whiskey rocks if you want it to be cold. So that's just a little tip from me to you. But there you have the twice up. Thanks for meeting us for happy hour. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed yourself and be sure to hit that notification bell so you get all the latest from Whiskey in the World. And if you're finding yourself with lots of money and no entertainment, you can head on over to patreon.com slash whiskey in the world and see all the extra goodies we have for you. Also, you can catch a new happy hour every Wednesday on YouTube and on iTunes and SoundCloud, a new episode of the Whiskey in the World podcast with a new whiskey and musical guest every single week. And remember, drinking is cool. But staying alive to drink the next time is cooler. So be safe. And please drink responsibly.